So we're going to be updating our ferro rod fire starter based on some um, some feedback I have for myself from the field. Our first update for the fire starter is going to be replacing this S carabiner with this locking S carabiner. And the reason why I'm doing that is because when I was using this in the field, I had it on my belt on a sheath kit um, and somehow this was finding a way to come off. It fell off a couple times. I suspect what happened is something like it pressed down against my hip or something and I'm not sure. But what I did find was that this, this was on the ground and that was still connected. So I wanted to provide some more security. So I wanted one that was locking. So I've changed it over to this one here, which has that lock in the middle. So what you do is you put it on. And then once it's on, obviously we'll have to put it there first, but once it's on, you can twist this lock and that snaps into place. And there's no real way that could come off without you wanting it to. So we'll take that and we'll just attach it to uh, the place where we normally keep it, just like this. Once it's on there, you lock it. And now you've got um, a fire starter affixed here, or sorry, a striker affixed here that's not going to uh, fall off unintentionally. Our next change is at the bottom. So you'll remember before that we had been using a split ring just like this down here. Um, I didn't like that a ton. What I found was that it was hard to use. It was hard to get anything on and off there, which was a pain. So I wanted to change it to something a little more useful, but also considering how this had fallen off, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna fall off easily. So I went with this G carabiner. Uh, the G carabiner simply goes right where this was, and you put it through not just the first clip, but the second clip. Once it's through the second clip, it's pretty hard to get it off there. For it to, for it to come off unintentionally, you would have to like not only go around that, which is pretty stiff, it's pretty hard to make that move, but it also have to get out of there. Um, now what happens here is if I ever wanted to fix something there, you know, let's say, I don't know, if I temporarily wanted to fix a, a chem light or something like that, you know, it's very easy for me to do so, whereas before with this, you know, it was pretty hard to make that work. And this has all these same properties as this, which is that it, you know, if this becomes loose, it'll it'll hold it there in place for you to be able to tighten it. Um, so it, it serves all the purposes of this, but is but is easier to use. Last addition is this. So this is just a tick remover. Um, I grabbed one of these and just in thinking about the best place to put it on my gear, um, my gear that I regularly have with me, I wanted it to be somewhere that was relatively easy to reach if I ever needed it. Um, and just some place that it wouldn't get like buried deep in a bag. And so I found that this was a great place to put it. Um, once you put it on here, it just sort of power, it just lays itself flat against the, the striker. And it really is, you know, as I've been using it, it's just, you don't even notice it's there really. It's no, no different than the striker. Uh, keep that locked. Now you've got this in place here too. Okay, this is obviously not really, it's a bit out of, out of the line of, uh, you know, survival gear necessarily. This is more like a, just a convenient place to put everyday use gear. Uh, but nonetheless, that's where I'm keeping it. So now it's part of my, uh, my fire starter.